<clears throat> Yo, what's up, sexy Samuel underscore? How are you guys doing today? Playing on her episode six. One, two, a three, a four, a five, a six. Should be pretty fun, dude. Should be pretty fun on her. You know, like this whole top row is not bad. You know, we got AMC, we got Achilles, Agni, AMC, Ama, on her Anubis. Like the only one that's bad is Alplosh, and I mean, I did pretty well with him, so. I don't think it's that bad. Dancing Barrow scares the crap out of me, though. <laughs> this, these two, like this day right here. Oh, no, wait. It's this, and then it's Anubis and Alquang. The Alquang game is going to be hard. The Alquang game is going to be tough. But we'll find a way to succeed. We always do. We always do. Um, I'm going to go Mannequin, Scepter, Devos, honestly. Which is weird, because I, like, I think Death's Embrace is just the win. Like, I think it's just way better. But, I mean, that being said... I kind of just want to try it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta try. Danza Burrow versus On Her is such a, like, S-plus tier matchup. Could be a good game. Should be. Might not be, but should be. Can I pillar his rocket? If I can, that'd be nuts. I kind of assume that I can. My clear is better than his too, right? Like, not my buff clear, but my, uh, I like wave clear. I guess my buff clear is better than his too. He missed one minion. He missed two minions. He finished his buff, so he's not going to miss a third. Why are you laughing? Get the hell out of here, dude. Nice. Nice. Incredible first blood. We got his shell. We get, He's really good at throwing those taunts, by the way. Those taunts fucking wrecked me. But, I mean, my mannequin did 220 damage, actually, for that first blood. That's really good. Really good. Obviously, I don't have my ult. Which blows, but... I think everyone's happy getting a kill if, uh... I right, like everyone's happy using an ult for a kill, I think. Hmm. If I jump in, am I scared? Not at all. I'm destroying him. I am destroying him. It's gonna auto this down. I don't lose very much health, and I have mannequin to help me burn it without abilities, so. This is pretty good. I would say I'm pretty damn happy with my uh my gameplay so far. Oh man. You don't back, I won't back, bud. I am juking. Juking, juking. It does have a lot more sustain than me, but like. I also kind of don't think it matters. Let me grab that. Can't do that yet, so we'll just back. Um. Your 
I guess there's no point in leveling my leap. Just clear this with some autos. And we'll go do our blue buff. Or, I'm sorry, we're gonna clear wave and then go do our speed buff. Now, obviously, Death's Toll gives him a stronger early game with how much sustain it gives him, especially going straight into Edge of All, not needing to go Devos. But I think once all's said and done, I should be better here. At least I hope so. Because if I'm not, that would suck. Get a shell for my ult. Shell for ult is definitely a trade I will take. And we got our finished Devos. I'm gonna go mana pots, dude. My mana is always an issue right now. Next item is probably gonna be Midgard into Itchaval. Which means right now while he's going Itchaval, uh, he's gonna be beating my ass badly. So, gotta be on the careful side of things. Weird that he would just give me that, but I'll take it. Just hoping that was up. It just spawned. <laughs> How unlucky, dude. Very nice. Very nice. Now, my thought process on alting that was that he had already used his shell before. Like, my last ultimate I used, he, he shelled it. So... There's no way in hell his shell is up, and getting into his rocket takes a, a charge up time. That would have definitely gotten him killed had he done it. So, the only way he lives there is if I miss a lot. Which, you know, to be fair, I almost did, but... Luckily, I was able to keep a steady hand long enough to, to kill a guy. Don't take that one out of context. Um... He does have Itchaval now, so if he fights me, he's definitely in a winning position. But I am going to be two levels higher than him here. Which might still lead me to be better in the fights. Gonna get my devos to get do some work for me here. Alright, nice. Shell down again. He should be dead here, I think. Very nice. Very nice. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the mana to insta clear. I go Midgard into Midgard into Ichival. 
Now, the reason I think I'm better here, by the way, uh, than him is because of the fact that Mannequin Scepter, while yes, it only does 14% instead of 28% attack speed reduction, when you upgrade it to the next rank, it's still 40% attack speed reduction. They didn't nerf the upgraded version. They only nerfed the tier 1. So... I think I should still be able to get some sort of a dub going. Alright. Go mid guard. I'll admit, dude, him having uh, him having Itchaval makes it very tough for me to fight him at all. Thank you, Devos. Now I have no mana, but do I need it? Probably not. Oh, he's doing his speed buff. I thought he was doing his blue. Oh, his blue's down. Damn it. Alright, go tier 2 interval here. Now my goal is to beat him before he gets Death's Embrace, because as confident I as I am in... Mannequin Scepter doing pretty good against Death's Embrace in this matchup. Um, I don't really want to put it to the test, to be honest. So I want to get my Itchaval and then just win the game. Keep getting an exorbitant amount of XP over him. Does he scare me with a steal? Quite frankly, yes, he does. But I do have Mannequin Scepter to do a lot of damage for me. Nice. I'm happy with that. Okay. Shell being down and me still having it up is literally gigantic. like this uh mm, this kind of sucks I gotta be honest this does not feel good come on die mini die mini die mini nice And we get the Phoenix, dude, after all of that. Holy crap. What a hell of a fight, man. What a hell of a fight. And a good juke by him, also. Keep in mind, that juke was nasty. When he uh, when he ulted in and I, and I pillared right in front of him. And he just knew. He knew I was about to pillar in front of him. He juked it. That was a really nice play.
All right, I have my Ichabal now though. So I officially lower his attack speed more than he lowers mine, which is nice. Do red just so he can't. Wasn't able to get the pillar there. But still a ton of damage on him. Very nice. Very nice. The Mannequin Scepter beats out the Death's Toll. And I think if you know they're going Death's Toll, Mannequin Scepter is definitely not a bad play. Nice. I actually really enjoyed that game. That was a higher level game and I had fun with it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.